Hey guys, welcome back. Now, we all know Character Creator is great for making great characters and iClone for animating them. But how do you get them into Unreal and take advantage of its sets, cameras and lighting? Well, is it as easy as the press of a button? Well, pretty much, but before you can do that, you need to set up a bunch of plugins to make that all happen. The auto setup stuff is basically put into Unreal and iClone on either end of the pipeline and 3D Exchange is an additional program that you have to purchase if you want to export stuff into a game engine. And once you have that auto setup plugin installed, you can access it from the plugins menu. But before then, we've got to install it. So you will find it at the Reillusion website. I'll provide the link below. And just make sure you've got the latest version that is good for your Unreal Engine build and just download it from there and you will get an executable which you can just uh, click on and follow the instructions to install it into iClone and then it, it should appear in, in the top plugins menu. Once you get that you can look for the uh, relevant Unreal files and you've got to copy those over into the proper version of the Unreal Engine that you're using. Uh, the plugins go in one directory, the content goes in another directory and there will be a text file with instructions exactly where to put them. Just make sure you get them in the right folders and for the right version of Unreal Engine. Now, um, I'm going through the FBX method. Another method to get your characters and animations in is Live Link. Um, but I prefer FBX, it's the easiest. Uh, in the workflow and it's also cheaper so you don't need an iPhone uh, and there's other other things you have to pay for like a facial mocap profile uh, but it's it's very powerful software um, and I will go over it in a future tutorial I know people who do use it just for blocking, things like that. And then they go through the FBX route to, to uh, get the final data through. Uh, also mentioned earlier that you're gonna need 3D Exchange uh, product, a Reillusion product to uh, send your stuff to a game engine. Uh, it also allows you to uh, import content into iClone. If you are going to be uh, exporting stuff into Unreal, you're going to have to buy the export version of pretty much anything on on the uh, the Reillusion store, the marketplace, or the content store. So you notice you can buy iContent or buy export. Export is more expensive. Uh, if you were to just keep things in iClone, then you would only need to buy the iClone version. Anyway, um, Unreal, make sure all the plugins are enabled. If they're not, you would just click here and you would have to restart your machine. Um, we don't actually need iClone Live Link right now, but I've got it in. And finally, after all that, you can actually 
get ready to export your FBX files. And these contain your characters and animation. These are the settings I use. And I just click export and then locate the FBX file, which I exported and drag and drop it into the folder I've created at Unreal. There are other ways you can import stuff. You can just press the add import button or right click. Uh, you select the HQ shaders and I'll give you the best quality. Uh, and that's what the auto setup plugin allows you to do really. And these are my Unreal import FBX settings. Leaving this skeleton empty the first time will automatically import the skeleton that you need and you can use that for future imports. Uh, you can add physics if you want, uh, probably don't need it your first time. It's only if you want to add things like ragdoll or jiggle physics. Just make sure you've got the same things checked that I do. There are other tutorials that go into this in more depth, but I'm just giving you a quick crash course on what my settings are. And I import stuff in. And you just click the button. So like I mentioned before, in future imports, you can do so without the mesh and just import animations and apply them to your skeleton. In future tutorials, uh, I hope to have more details on customizing shaders because sometimes they don't come through correctly. Uh, and there's some quick fixes you can do to get the most out of your, your meshes from iClone. Uh, as well as that, there'll be other things on lighting tips and camera work and that sort of thing. Uh, but let me know in the comments below if, if that's something you'll be interested in and then I will get on to that. Otherwise, you've been watching Mr. H Makes. I'm Mr. H signing off and looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good week.